quite often we will just have inquiries come into Joe and I and the, the rest of the team with regards to folks maybe getting ready to get their properties on the market, not necessarily selling right this minute, perhaps, and it, but there's something that they're beginning to, to talk about. They're thinking about it. They may have not done it for a long period of time, maybe only sold one home or two homes in their lifetime, and now it's been several years since they've done that. So they really kind of want to understand, gosh, what is the home selling process, the, you know, the benefits of using an agent, how do I prepare, what do I do to get ready? I'm Chris Frizzoco with the Frizzoco Group Real Estate Team here at the Jersey Shore, and we're actually going to talk about that, and we're going to lay out some steps and benefits for you in case you are, are in fact, considering selling your home down here at the Jersey Shore. In a simple way, what are the steps involved in selling a home? How can I get started? Simple way. Okay. Well, a simple <laughs> way is just call me or call Joe and we'll walk you through the entire process. That's the simple simple way. Um, that's our one step <laughs> one program. Step process. The one step program. <laughs> uh, otherwise, no, for really for the home selling process, really the way it simply put is you want to reach out to a professional real estate agent like myself, like Joe. And you want to start asking just some questions about what's happening in the market, um, timing of the market for yourself, and really share with, with us what your goals are and what you want to accomplish. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. And that's what we're going to be focused on as your professional real estate agent. We want to focus on what, what it is you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so there's going to be a series of questions that we would ask so that we have a clear understanding of what your plans are and what you're trying to achieve. Really, and at that point in time, we're gonna send over a packet of information. It's gonna outline exactly what it is that we do to sell homes. And then we're gonna come out and we're gonna have a sit down with you. It's gonna take anywhere between five and 25 minutes. And that really kind of depends on the questions that the particular uh, people will have or person will have at the meeting. And quite frankly, what we like to lay out is three things that every seller wants to know and this is what we cover you know it's what's the price what's it worth you know what are you going to do to sell it and how fast is it going to happen so we make sure that we cover those three questions because those are the three that everybody wants to know and we'll cover that in that five to 25 minutes and then really after that it's just simply about the, just the listing paperwork that's the start of the home selling process uh, that's kind of how it works you have your Sometimes you'll have open houses, you'll have broker open houses where you invite the agents in to take a look at the house. Um, and then obviously through the different marketing techniques that we use to expose it to the public, maximize the showing opportunities for the other agents and their particular clients as well, and ultimately get you a contract that we then negotiate on your behalf. How can sellers prepare their home for sale? Yeah. It, it, like, what do I need to clean up? Should I, should <laughs> yeah. I, you know, redo the flooring? What, what, what? Sure. It might depend, but. Trick, you know, tricky question. And it, the reason I say that is there's so much stuff that's on TV nowadays. There's so many TV shows, so many, uh, what I feel are just opinions on what people should be doing with regards to their homes. The bottom line is you live there. <clears throat> so. I'm not saying you got to strip your walls down. Everyone says depersonalize it, take everything down. I'm not necessarily the biggest proponent of that because I feel like it really sterilizes the house and people don't feel the warmth of the home that you may have had when you were there. You know, if it's a shore home, so it's a coastal home, it's your second property, you might want to have some of those photos out there so you can, people can see the enjoyment and the memories that you actually were able to build and have over the years of owning this property. So I almost feel that you really want to use that as a selling tool because you want, or a marketing tool, because you want to have that out there for people to see the enjoyment level that you got out of the home. However, at the same time, you don't want to have a thousand photos out there, right? You don't need to have every knickknack that you've ever gotten at the shore have out on display. Okay, so you really want to kind of clean those up. You really want to try to take out any type of big furniture that you don't really use on a regular basis. You know, if there's an extra chair in the bedroom that you just like to sit on and put on your shoes, take it out, put it in the garage, make the room look bigger. Okay, so you always want to make the rooms look bigger. If you have carpeting, you want to have those power washed. If the floor is looking really worn, see if you can get it refinished or just get new flooring put down. Uh, luxury vinyl is great here at the at 
back to shore because it wear and tears really well. It doesn't get beat up from the sand and all of that. So that's a really good product to use. So, but that's really, I think, more in like the extreme if the home is really beat up. You know, at the end of the day, a home ages at the same time. And what I mean by that is the door handles and the sink fixtures and all of these things, they, the lighting, it all tends to age at the same time. So if you've never really updated anything, don't update one thing because then all of a sudden the rest of it's going to stand out. If you go and you fix the master bathroom and you have a hallway bathroom that is still old, well, that's going to stand out. People are going, geez, now i got to redo this bathroom. You know, if you, so you just got to be careful, I think, most importantly, with any type of big renovations. Ask your real estate agent what they feel is going to maximize your value and what you can get back from it. You don't want to be start doing major renovations if you're not going to get your money back out of it and plus some. So for me, it's always about clean up your clutter. Make sure you don't have a lot of knickknacks. You don't have clothes lying around. You want to clean out your clean up your closets. Make, make sure everything is neat, clean, dusted, polished, smells fresh. And, you know, beds are made. That is what really shows well for a home, uh, in my opinion. What are some common challenges sellers may face? And sometimes, you know, just common ones that might be a little bit of a headache. And, and we know that those can happen sometimes. Sure. Um, so what, what would those be? So common challenges that a seller can face in our area here. So we have a lot of, and, and I'm going to talk about the kind of offshore properties that we're selling in the primary home market, we have septic systems. So a lot of times it's worked great for them over the years, but that doesn't mean it's actually working, right? <laughs> it's going to pass its inspection. So what I recommend there is that's a challenge because now all of a sudden you get into a situation, you're under contract, you've done an inspection, it doesn't pass, that has to get turned in now to the county. So now the county knows your septic system failed. And now we have to schedule someone to come out and engineer report and start working towards having that replaced. So my recommendation there is if you're considering putting your home for sale, have your inspection done. And then that way there, you know what's going on. If there's a, if there's an issue, then you don't list your house, get it resolved first. Or we also can figure out how to market it with the issue that it may have. We might find a buyer that's willing to take it on, but we need to know that in advance. So that to me is like any, any opportunity that you can do a home inspection in advance or definitely doing a septic, a septic inspection in advance. And you may want to do your well water inspection in advance as well. I mean, you want to have your water tested. You want to know what you're probably having, what you've been drinking. Um, so have that done so that you can make sure it's corrected in advance. Those are some of the big challenges that you really can come across on the selling side that you won't know until you really get a contract and get moving with it. But they're also, the, but those same items that most people wait until they get a contract, which then creates stress within that contract and stresses the relationship between the two parties. You could just do it in advance and you could actually then after that have a really smooth transaction because everyone knows what they're dealing with. All those issues could be re resolved ahead of time, which makes it much more, um, much more enjoyable, much easier for you as a seller. So those, I would say the, the biggest challenges, um, lending challenges on the buyer side. I mean, those are what they are. I mean, that's something that you really can't control. Yeah. So I'm just going to speak on you know, what it is that you can control yeah. as a seller. Control the controllables, as they say. And then to, to close, what are the benefits of working with a real estate agent when selling a home? Yeah. So, you know, there's been independent studies and they talk about 93% of all people end up using a real estate agent, even ones that started with a, trying for sale by owner. And the reason being is, is that as a real estate agent, we understand the step-by-step-by-step -step -step process that it takes. We have the people, one, that if there are issues in place, they can help you resolve that issue in a timely manner. There's virtually not really, after all these years in business, there's not too many scenarios that I haven't had come across my desk that we've had to work our way through. And that's one of the greatest advantages in working with someone like myself and with Joe. When we have this kind of experience and you've seen this many situations occur, you can resolve them because you already have. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really, there's, not, there's nothing that's really unique. So I think one, we bring experience we bring the knowledge of the people that we're going to be working with if there's issues that need to be resolved, okay? Through the closing process, we understand what it takes to close a, to close a property. 
and you know the ins and outs of what's going to happen there and dealing with the title company, dealing with inspection companies and what to expect from the inspection companies, moreover, probably what they're going to report on based upon what their, their findings. So the knowledge that we have for the sellers, for us, has just come with experience. And that's 20 plus years of experience that we're bringing to the table, selling virtually, you know, 12 to 1400 homes in that timeline um, that we've been able to do in that 20 years. You know, there's just experience there. And that's what you pay for. You know, it's like anything else. If you're going in for heart surgery, do you want to, do you want the person that's working on your heart that does, you know, two or three of those a week, you know, three or four a week? Or do you want the one that does three or four a year? I'll take the person who's doing them three or four a week all day, every day. Yeah. And that's what we bring to the table that we're selling a home virtually almost every other day here um, at the shore. And so we just bring that experience. Um, and then we have the team and the support that goes along with that. So in, with the home selling process, there's, there's always those hidden turns. There's always those surprises, if you will. And you know that, that there can be challenges along the way. And the benefit of using a professional real estate team like the Frizoka Group and Joe and I is we know how to set you up for success. We know how to, from the very beginning, from the initial communication that we have of walking you through the process step by step by step so that there is a clear understanding of what is going to happen, how it's going to happen, and basically when and what to expect it all to happen. We can walk you through that through the experience that we have over, over the, our 20 plus years of being in business. And ultimately, we want it to be an enjoyable experience for you because we know that this is a major investment. It's a major moment in your life. It could be a major change in your life. And we want to make sure that it's done well for you. It's enjoyable for you so that you can move on to whatever that next phase is and not have the stress and the anxiety and just the overall just negative experience that unfortunately can happen if you're either doing it on your own or if you're doing it with someone who does not have the level of experience that we have.